Good morning. I'm trying to think of what day it is. Today's Wednesday. I am running late by a couple of minutes. I'm just not functioning that well this morning. So excuse me for just now figuring out what in the world I'm doing. <laughs> I have no idea. It's been a busy day already. I see one. Hi, Wendy. Thank you for joining me. I'm somewhat conscious, <laughs> fresh from the shower. <laughs> Some days I just don't work so fast. Today's one of those days. I stayed up really late last night. Hi, Charles. I should never stay up late. My little girl did not get her sleep quota last night, so I'm a little tired. I um, would like to share this out, but I don't have any of my devices up and running. <laughs> it's okay. It'll be fine. Everything's good. Center. Hi, Scarlett. Thank you for popping in. I love it that you guys, Cheryl, thank you for being here. I love that you guys come back day after day, even though I'm silly and can't seem to get myself together most days. I appreciate you. It's, it's a lesson in contrast. I start out in this total chaotic of I'm rushing too fast because I didn't get myself moving fast enough because I got distracted by everything there was going on again. And so... <laughs> As we go through this, and as I center and ground, the, there's a change always. It's like, oh, she just shifted. So we're waiting for that shift to take place <laughs> into my higher self land to where I can actually have some kind of brain function. So I'm working on that, trying to get my devices up and running. Thank you for sharing for me, Wendy. I always appreciate sharing. Everybody take a big collective breath this morning. The energy is incredible today. I feel like, you know, we've been going through something pretty heavy on the planet, and all of us are, like, really struggling to try to keep up. And yet, in the background, come on, microphone, you bop me in the back. <laughs> in the background, in, in the reminder that I keep getting from sources, make sure that you're looking under the surface. So... I am going to focus my energy today on going under the surface. Mm, that could be fun as little children to dig down deep, to go down into a cave. Let's do a little cave exploration today. What do you think of that? I love how spirit brings things to me. So let's do something different because we all have these, um, these little magical caves inside of, our, uh, inside of ourselves. So maybe we can find that space. And I think it's important for us to do that, to realize that there's more of us than meets the eye. Is that me? That's me. Let me share this really quick. I love how it just takes care of me. Good device. There. Share it at least to my homepage. So, where are you today? What's going on in your world? Are you managing okay? Are you staying safe? What is happening? Charles says good morning to everyone. I'm so glad that you guys are here with me. I love it when we get a little group like this because we're going to have so much fun and I'm going to really tune into your energy today and see what I can pick up. I already feel. Hmm, who am I feeling? Oh, hello. Sorry. <laughs> There's an energy right at the back of my head and in my heart space. So I'm like, okay, come on in, come on in. Let's have some fun. We are asking for protection from Archangel Michael, from all of our archangels and our teams today, so that we can sit here in this space and so that we can call in those, those energies, those lost loves, those um, any, any loved one that you would like to bring safely into this space. Hi, Sherry. So I invite Steve in. I already did, and I'm sure that's why I'm all lit up. <laughs> it's sometimes when he first shows up, it's like, um, it's an energy that I have to work with. It's like really strong. <laughs> He's got a very strong energy. <sighs> so I'm just breathing into it. Here comes the sun. My favorite song, Here Comes the Sun. Mm -hmm. Charles is exhausted. Yeah. It's a... 
It's a heavy energy. I had some difficulty last night. I didn't go to sleep because I was spending too much time looking at the news and seeing what was going on in the world. And There's a big energy. I'm so sorry when that happens. Like I get blasted with this big energy of love right to the heart space. And it's like, okay, I'm just going to, pardon me, just because I can't talk right now. <laughs> Step aside, sister. Just sit here and bathe in it. So as we're inviting in that energy. Hi, Tina. Let's, let's just, um, the news is draining. So we're going to step out of that. We're going to take those that we choose to bring in. Bring a friend. Hey, pick a friend. It might be a pet. I can, I can feel Senna. I think Senna might like to join us on this little trip today. Wendy, that's for you. Saw the bear again. I did see the bear again. I saw the bear when I was out for a walk. I was just walking around like, no, it's so crazy to me still. <laughs> I mean, this is my first year living in the mountains. So it's still so crazy to me to be walking through the park. Take it to stay. I'm taking a stroll, talking on the phone to my daughter. And I look over and there goes a bear walking. <laughs> I'm like, hello. And then I'm like, should I go that way? <laughs> should I go that way? Should I, you know, like, what's my, the best way to respect this bear? He looks hungry to me. He looks, I'd love to be able, I'm, I don't like anything to be hungry or hurting. So I'd love to be able to feed him and I can't because it's against the law. We don't want to do that. We don't want them to be too friendly to people because then they end up getting, either they'll haul them away. First they try to haul them away and if they keep coming back then they end up putting them down because it's a danger. So, so we have to be very careful and respectful of the bears here. So that's what I'm doing. I'm giving him space. Run downhill, yes. <laughs> Wendy remembers that trick. It's exactly what I needed to do, and it's funny because I saw him when I was at the top of the hill, and I was actually laughing about that very thing. I was like, well, I'll just run downhill. It'll be okay. That's what I was told, <laughs> and he will tumble after me. What's going on, you guys? My lips are really pale. I hate that I have to sit here and look at myself. <laughs> Isn't that funny? I didn't quite finish getting myself put together this morning. Can you tell? Hi, Julie. Thank you for popping in. What is going on with Julie Kiss today? I am really, really functioning in a way that um, half of me is here and half of me feels like it's in the spirit realm right now. So if I seem kind of kind of out there, I'm really feeling a lot of energy coming into this space. And that tends to make me a little bit like I am distractible. So I'm breathing into that to see where we're going. And the ego is stepping aside. <laughs> That's the whole idea. Step aside, ego. You can go take a rest. Hi, Christine. Greetings from the beach. Awesome for bringing that beach enemy or enemy <laughs> energy into us. What did I say about the brain shutting down? has very, been very strong, yes, the energy has been very strong. So, for me right now, the energy is going to a beautiful place. And I'd love to share that with you. So, if you're in that, in a quiet space where you can be still, if you feel, somebody's playing with my neck, hello. Steve does that, he's almost like, I've I gotten that from some of my friends where it feels like he's giving a neck massage, so. I'll take that neck massage. He's like, all right, be easy. He's like, he treats me like a prize fighter. He's like, okay, here you go. You're, you're here. It's going to be okay. Calm down. Calm down. Draw it in. You should uh, rub your shoulders. I'll get you all easy and, and relaxed, and you can do your thing. So let's bring in the energy of calm. Hi, Abuelita. Thank you for joining us. Hmm. Very calm, sweet energy, and I love that when that happens. So if you're if you're just if you're an energy sensitive person like me, you can breathe that calm into your heart space right now. We're not going to quite go into meditation yet, but the energy in the room is beautiful. I feel as if you are, huh, Abuelita. I'll tell him good morning. Actually, you just did, and he returns that good morning. What is that? Oh, it's a squirrel. <laughs> I saw something moving, but my glasses weren't allowing me. So be in stillness. 
today. We're going to start early inviting in our teams. Who is on your team? Who do you have? Who do you think that you have? What are the names? Who is the name of your imaginary friend as a child? Because truly they don't mind that you call them anything you want to call them. So I'm quite in the habit of calling him Steve. That's my piece of source energy right there. He's a pretty powerful piece of source energy. Who do you call on? Who would you like to call on today? Is there someone? It may be a pet or it may be um, grandma or grandpa or it could be an ancient relative. It could be an ancient part of you. It could be your, your higher self. Would you like your higher self to come join us? I love greeting and spending time with your higher selves. That's the part of us that is so connected. Mm, if the whole world could realize how connected we really are. Oh, I'm just like, oh, I just can't wait. I can't wait until we're all awake. Until we all look at each other in love. We, we look at each other and go, oh, I could never hurt you. If I hurt you, I'd be hurting me. That'd be silly. All I, all I got to do is love. That's all I got to do is just love you. Wendy, mine is Joni, my mom and Senna. Perfect. Hello, Joni. Hello, Mom. Hello, Senna. I already felt Senna's presence. <sighs> my poor 96-year-old woman living all alone and reaching out for assistance. I could feel her crying out for love. Sent her a form from Foundation and $333 was told to do that. That's very sweet of you, Charles. You never had an imaginary friend, Adelita. Well... Let's just say you've always had imaginary friends, because imaginary friends are our spirit guides, and every one of us came into this planet with a spirit guide. There's no doubt in my mind, many, probably many, we all have um, those helpers that have chosen. They're, oftentimes they're out of our soul family that have chosen not to come in as physical beings this time, but to come in as spirit form. And so they come in to help us along the way. They leave you little synchronicities. They leave you little signs. They leave you that treasure map to follow, to, to make your way to where you need to be. And oftentimes when we go off our paths or when we're really struggling, they, they try to find ways to show us where we need to go, which direction. They're, they've always been there. I see one. Hello, Mom. How are you doing? It's nice to have, to call you moms in. <laughs> so go ahead. So let's spend some time in that space, that safe space. We're calling in Archangel Michael to create a huge bubble around us of safety today so that we can call in our loved ones, so that we can commune with them for a little while. And we're going to do it. Oftentimes, I don't even start this until 10 o'clock or after, but today I feel like it's, it's a good idea to just bathe in that energy, to be still in that energy of our loved ones. So feel yourself getting a hug right now, even if you don't know who that is. Each one of us has so much support. Can you, can you imagine if you've never had that imaginary friend, if you've never really spent time with those guides that are around you, can you imagine what's a name that you, we've played this game before. Did you have a name that you really wanted to be called as a child? A name that you just loved more than any other name for some reason you just thought, man, that's the perfect name I would love to be called that name. For me, it was Susan. <laughs> I so wanted to be Susan when I was little. My mother was like, no, you can't be Susan because people will call you Susie and she didn't like the name Susie. <laughs> Why I wanted to be Susan and not Diane is very close to the same. I think it was a very popular name when I was a child. But I also believe that when we're children, we know our spirit guides really well. We know we can remember better. And so Susan was around me. And so I wanted to be Susan. So did you have a name? Was there a name that would always come up to you in different ways as a child? Think about that. That may help you to come up with the name of your spirit guide. And know that you have angels all around you all the time. Know that. That you aren't any less or any more than any other person on the planet. And that you have every bit as many um, supports, as, many, uh, as, as much ability to call on those angels, archangels. They're right there. They don't have any limits. They can be in a billion places at one time. They just come from here inside of you. They just come right out. So you call them and they're like, okay, hello. Yes, ma'am, what would you like? 
You're the queen. You're the king. What would you like? Love to call my dog Coco in today. Okay, so we got Coco and Senna. I hope they get along well. <laughs> That'll be very sweet. I have a little dog. Let me call one in too. When I was younger, I had before, right before um, Jess was born, my oldest, I lost him. And he was absolutely my baby. He was a little red poodle. And I had him from birth because we used to have litters. And he was beautiful. He's red. He's the color of red. And that's what his name was. He had a big fancy name, but I called him Red. And he went everywhere with me. He was my uh, he was my baby before I had babies. And when he died, it just ripped my heart out. And I don't think I've been the same since. So I don't think we call Red in here. Let's see if Red wants to come play too. Yes, he does. Ah, it's nice to spend time with you again, my little friend. Very sweet. Don't you love that when you ask and they're like, Okay. Little dogs, they're just little kitties. They're just like so innocent. They're like, well, we've been around you all the time anyway, of course. <laughs> of course. Senna was red too. Wow. He was, red was the color of, you ever seen a red poodle? You don't see those very often. They tend to be. Although if you look at a golden doodle, a lot of them have that red color. He was the color of an Irish setter. He was very deep red especially when he was a baby. He went a little lighter colored as he got older, but he was very deep red and beautiful. Wendy, you like your name? Good. You have a beautiful name. Some of us had, I think that it was not necessarily, because now when I think of Susan, I don't want to change it to Susan, but I think, I think it, part of me knew the name of my spirit guide that was around me, so that's why I kept hearing the name Susan. Let's see. Love to all. Love to call my dog. I, if I put my glasses on. I need to remain calm. Have issue with co contract or bad work on our camper. This is Julie. And I do not like conflict. Me either. That's an empath thing. My little dog always made me feel calm. So that little dog, that little dog is going to curl up beside you and bring you that peace right now. Very sweet, Coco. <laughs> is Coco a poodle too? Because I see you put a little poodle picture up there. Senna and Red would get along well, won't they? Red was only seven pounds. He was just a little guy. <laughs> Senna was a big guy. <laughs> it, these, but they can still, I'm sure Senna was gentle. They can still spend time in spirit form. They love each other anyway. Let's see. I mean, we'd always wanted to be an Emily, and I think it's my spirit guide is Emily. That feels, oh, man. When you say that, I love it when you guys say something like that, because then I'm like, oh, hello, Emily. I feel that energy. Emily has a very sweet soul. And yes, she's with you. So now, from now on, Abuelita, when you go, oh, I need to talk to someone, talk to Emily. Emily's right there. Red Poodle Coco. How cool, Julie. Julie, you and I have a lot of, <laughs> we have a lot of things in common. Isn't that wild? <clears throat> Let's see. Is that Jab or Geb? Siamese cat named Jeb. He's here now. Excellent. Excellent. I love Siamese cats. I've had many. Senna was 22 kilograms, which is, let me see. <laughs> I used to know. I was a pharmacy technician for years, and I'm like, okay, so then, so then we, we multiply 22 kilograms by 2.2. Is that right for pounds? Something like that. So I'm going to guess around 55 pounds, maybe. Something like that. You can, it's close enough. He's a big dog. Senna was calm. Excellent. Let's see. Abuelita had a little dog named Puppy when I was 13 years old. Someone took him and I cried and cried and never found him. I've had losses like that too. And it's so difficult when you're little. You just never really get over those losses, do you? So you can call Puppy and maybe Puppy would like to come and play with you today and say, hey, I'm still around. I'm still around. I'm okay. I did all right. Wendy, I had a cat 29 years ago called Nancy. What a cool name for a cat. <laughs> Bring her in. Bring her in. There's no time on the other side. Nancy wants to come join us. Yeah, I feel like curled up in my lap. Sweet. Sweet. I love when you guys call these in. It's so fun to play this game, isn't it? Some days we just go into this and it's like, ah, isn't it fun to just know that we're surrounded by spirit? Now, there's nothing scary about it, but it's just beautiful friendship and beautiful. We hold ourselves 
that's import an important reminder is that we hold ourselves in a higher vibration and then those spirits that come to us are in that higher vibration too where we literally meet up in the same what would you call it energy plane we'll make that up as i go um so if you're holding yourself down in a low vibration where it's kind of you're living in fear mode you're living in lower vibrations like jealousy and hate and all that stuff which is a lot of people in the world right now um those spirits that can come around them are lower vibrational too. They're no fun. They're no fun. They bring the energy of negativity and fear and hate and all that to them too. It's like, it's just a perfect storm, isn't it? Those of us that know better, that know that energy is very important to maintain a good higher vibration is super important. Um, we're in that higher vibrational plane where those beautiful spirits of our animals that have passed, of our loved ones, those gentle souls that are now in spirit form, they are right there present and ready to come in and say hi. So, And I love the way Steve, when he comes in, he kind of opens the gateway. He's like, yeah, let's bring him in. So he's here. He's literally, I can see him with the door open. He's holding the door open and he's welcoming. So if you have some spirit that is gentle and good and wants to join us here that's here for our highest and good he's ushering them in he's helping so know that that we're in this space right now where we can have a more open um sharing if, if you would so like so if there's a a loved one that's passed oh, sorry <laughs> big bless energy and someone just joined us <laughs> and i'm not that good at Charles, I feel like, I keep hearing your name, so I feel like someone just joined us for you. So, know that. If you if you invited someone in, they came in. <sighs> so I feel like I'm in a beautiful space. So join me too. Like, as, you, as we fall into meditation today, call in your Holy Spirit higher self to join me. I've got this cute little room. <laughs> it's a little gathering space. I would love for you to join me here. Nancy was named after a character from a USA show. I'm not sure which show that might be, but for some reason I'm thinking of a show with Nancy in it 29 years ago. I'll have to look it up. Sacred Spiral. Yeah, isn't that beautiful? I love that name, or that, that phrase, Sacred Spiral. I'm all about the spiral. I went to Ireland last year and I saw that, that shape. You know, it's like a spiral, and it's on all the ancient buildings, that, and it's just something that has hung with me. The idea of a full circle, the idea of whatever this is we're coming to. I don't have a full picture, but I do feel as if we're coming full circle to something. Something that they knew then in ancient times, and we're finally starting to remember it now. We're coming full circle back to that again. Does anybody else resonate with that? trying to remember the show. I may remember it too because I feel like I can. I feel like there's something there hanging in the back of my mind with Nancy. <sighs> the energy is incredible. So many loved ones. There's grandmothers. There's ancient. Ah, uh, thank you. I have ancient Native American ancestry that likes to come in and when they come in it's like slow speech. <laughs> because they don't necessarily speak the same as I do. And so I feel like I just kind of, something in me slows down. <laughs> so they're here, like creating a circle around us, a safe circle, and a gratitude for what we're doing. I think it was like 40-something. Figure it out, Wendy. You're very smart with stuff like that. You'll do your research later. So do you realize that you're that you're ancient and that all of this is flowing together at the same time, truly? There really is no time. It's all a man-made construct, just like just like money, just like scarcity, just like you know, all these lower vibrational energies. We all created these. They didn't come with us. We didn't have fear when we first came into the planet we didn't have any lower vibrational energies we only had love 
all of the rest of us we've been creating along the way for whatever reason, <laughs> judgment, all of that. So we go back to when we call in your higher spirit or higher self, Holy Spirit, higher self is what I meant to say, 30-something, yeah, 30-something. I remember watching 30-something. Um, actually, it was a good show. Um, so as we start to go into that space of the, the higher self, which is where I'm moving into, you can tell my demeanor changes. <laughs> Um, we realize that we've always been here. We have been here long before this planet was ever created. We were part of the creation of this planet. I'm going to see. It's about, it's about 10 o'clock. Who's ready for some good channeling, for some good um, meditation? Can you get yourselves into a comfortable place? You can lie down, you can sit up. The body will receive healing and alignment as your spirit is allowed to come out and play like a child. Our spirits don't like to be tied down to the body all the time. Good, calm on the way. Sit in that calm for just a minute. Allow yourself to just be at peace. Put your feet on the ground. Let yourself be rooted to that space where you are. And close your eyes and just rest into it. And breathe. Make sure that you're breathing. When, whenever all of those, those little thoughts pop into your head to try to distract you, go back to the breathing. If you really want to Center yourself. You can do a pattern. You can say, okay, I'm going to breathe in for five seconds. I'm going to breathe. I'm going to hold it for three. And then I'm going to release for six. Any kind of pattern that you'd like. Do that three or four times and it completely centers and grounds you. Your body doesn't need that. It doesn't need you to have a pattern like that. So when you do, it can't, it can't concentrate on anything else. It can't go off someplace else because it's, it's focusing on just the breath. So I'd like, to, I'd like you to join me in that for just a couple minutes to breathe and just relax into this energy. The heart space is filling. I'd like you to breathe that energy into your heart as if it's a big balloon. Just make it as big as you can. Pretty soon it gets so big that it can't even fit inside of your chest anymore. So it just kind of goes boop and it pops right out. This big, beautiful, rainbow-colored balloon. And it creates a space. And we're in that space now, all of us together. As we pop out, it's that higher self that comes out. That part of you that has never been touched by the pains of life. It's perfect. It has all the answers. So we're all joining together in this healing room. I see us walking in. Each of us golden light beings joining, greeting one another. There you are. I've been waiting to see you. Our loved ones are here that we've called into this healing space. I see embracing going on, big hugs. Thank you for taking the time to come and see us. <clears throat> Thank you for remembering your own spirit. Thank you for remembering that you can join us at any time. I mean, this is a great hall, and it's just like a, a huge family reunion. I see the dogs, and I see cats, and they're just bouncing around at feet, feet <laughs> at, at the feet of their owners. So excited to see you, so excited that you can be there with them. Can you feel that lightening of your soul? I 
And I'd like you to enjoy that. Spend time in that space. Enjoy your loved ones. Enjoy those pets. And while you're doing that, I'm going to do some clearing. Help you to clear out any negative energy that you've carried around with you for too long. If you're ready to release that, just relax and allow it. Just say, yes, I'd like this clearing. And your body is receiving that clearing right now. <clears throat> and it's up in the crown. <clears throat> I always start getting froggy when we start clearing. There's some work to do in the throat today. So we're going to allow that. This is a new class I'm getting ready to start. I hope many of you will look at, into it. <clears throat> it's called The Voice of the Spirit. And it will be coming up in about a month. There'll be more advertising coming up, but I, but it's all about clearing that throat chakra and finding your voice again. So, so as we sit here, this clearing energy is up in, it's come through the crown. Down into the third eye. It's like a thick golden liquid that's just pouring through, clearing away any blocks, any cords, any attachments, any earthbound spirits that are not here for our highest of good. There's a ringing in the ears. There's clearing there so that you can hear. That is energy going into the area of, of helping you to develop your clear audience skills, the ability to hear spirit better. So that's beautiful. Thank you for that. We're accepting that healing from Archangel Raphael to work on, on that other kind of hearing. This hearing that is, is opens us, allows us to hear our own truth. And then I'm holding that energy and you continue to play. Continue to enjoy yourselves. Let your spirits fly. Any little children that feel squeaky today, you can bring them into the circle too. They love this playtime. I see them playing with the puppies and the kitties and having so much fun. Okay. The energy has moved down through the third eye, clearing away. I feel a, uh, even a clearing of the sinuses. Thank you. <coughs> and moving down into the throat. <coughs> Clear your throat if you need to. Yawn real big. Allow that energy to fill that space. Space. It's so important to work on your voice of the spirit to allow right now. It's something different, okay? This is different than what we've experienced before. This is a this is not using your normal vocal cords. This is a deeper kind of voice that comes from spirit that brings calming into the planet. If you'd like that gift, you just open to it. And I see vocal cords in that throat space lighting up right now with a beautiful energy. Be the voice of calm. So needed right now. And I felt a, a big energy shift there, so there's some healing going on and some growth. When I'm holding it there, it's just lingering right in that throat space for many of you. Beautiful. There's a, quite a family reunion going on in the next room. I hope you all are enjoying that reunion. down into the heart. Beautiful. Beautiful clearing energy. Any pains, anything that you're holding there that no longer serves you, you can let it go. You don't need to carry the weight of the world. You can fill up that heart space. We, we talked about going to the cave today. That's the crystal cave. Back behind the heart, there is a beautiful cave that you can, you can step into anytime you'd like. So let's Draw ourselves into those caves right now and look around and see what you see in that cave. It's not dark. The light shines in off of those crystals and it's absolutely beautiful there. 
And you can look deeper into that. And as you're doing that, draw that love energy into that cave. Make it just as big and beautiful as you can. That is the cave that you're going to draw from for those around you that when they, they need healing or they need some love energy from you. You've got it all stored up. You can just collect it all up right now. Put it all into that cave. There's gold all around you. Just pick it up. Take it into your cave. Store it all there for when you need it. This is... This is energy that is outside of your own that you can use when needed so that you're not drawing off of your own energy. In the older days, we used to have to use our own. We used to feel other people's illnesses. We used to take on their symptoms. We used to pick up their problems. We used to carry the weight of the world on our shoulders. And they're reminding us that that's no longer necessary. They are giving us this gift every day to fill us up so that we can go out into the world and share our peaceful voices, share our peaceful presence, share that love energy with those around us. Beautiful. I feel like you're all filling up your heart spaces right now. It's incredible. You can take as much as you want. There's plenty to go around. Don't feel like you gotta have any shortage there. Okay, moving down into the solar plexus. You may stay in that cave as long as you'd like. Keep gathering. You, you get to choose how much you want to put in there, how much you want to be able to give out. We're going down into the solar plexus, so we're clearing away any cords, attachments, anything that is holding you down, anything that is not there for your highest of good. We're asking Archangel Michael to come in and sever and release and remove and take any of that energy into the light to be transmuted. And so we're staying in the solar plexus for a little bit. Lots of work to be done there. Take a big breath and pull it into your belly space. I see some of you mining for gold. <laughs> you got your little pans out and you're shaking it out. You're getting all the gold you can to pull into that heart space. Beautiful, beautiful work. And it's staying in the solar plexus for a little bit, so I'm being patient. Beautiful, beautiful shift. Excellent letting go. You guys are doing great today. Okay, slowly creeping down into the second chakra, clearing away any old energy, any, anything from past relationships, any sexual energy, anything that is no longer serving you, anything that you can release and let go of so that you can move on in your life with creativity, with love, with openness to new relationships, with new opportunities arising. You want to keep that space open and clear and healthy and strong. There's nothing that you ever did wrong. Don't hold on to any guilt there. Let it go. Very good. Beautiful energy there. Hmm. And down into the sacral chakra. Creating just a beautiful space there so alive in that sacral chakra it's like you have this sleeping dragon that that its eye just opened up and it said ah oh, what can i do for you <laughs> what can i do for you let me come and help you let me be a part of your life your little inner dragon that comes to life and brings power and energy like you've never known before and abilities are heightened and pretty soon you're going to feel as if you can hop on that dragon's back and just fly wherever you want to fly. Perfect. Perfect. Nice and clear. How does that feel to be centered and clear for just a little while? To feel yourself completely, perfectly in alignment. That's what you strive for. 
as you're meditating, you strive to get into that place of all lined up and, and my energy is flowing perfectly from one chakra to the next. And so as we're sitting in that perfect alignment, we're allowing that energy to flow on down our legs and into our feet out of our hands, those beautiful hand chakras, the healing hands, the feet, as you step on the earth with those beautiful feet, right in the center of your feet is, is they're both chakras too, and they are like creating these golden footprints across the planet. I just saw that. And you have such a beautiful light that as you step onto the earth with your bare feet, you create light energy as you step in the healing. This is why you're here. You're an incredible being. And you may feel like you don't know what your path is. And the reminder is, is that you are perfectly on your path. You're right where you belong. Just be. Just be. So the energy has gone down into the earth and it's been recycled. And it's coming back up our feet. I feel that heat coming into the feet, up the legs. I hope you can feel that. It's hitting the spine. And each one of those chakras are just clear and spinning and it's flying right on up through. Okay, now I want you to visualize your Holy Spirit higher self, however, however you would like to. You've got your dragon with you. Grab that dragon and fly. Just fly up as high as you can. And as you're flying, you're spreading this light, this light energy that you've just, you've just created. So see that as you're flying, just spraying out behind you. And wherever you fly, it's just, it's just raining down on the earth, bringing love. And all of those places where there's unrest, that's what I'm asking for. All of the, the energy as I'm flying, I would like it to go and shower down on all of this unrest on the planet right now. Bring healing energy, bring love. Straight from source. I see your loved ones flying along with you. They're like, this is so much fun today. Thank you for bringing us along. Keep flying. We fly so fast. We are covering the earth right now with this love energy. Straight from that big cave where you've saved it all up. That's where it's coming from. Showering down. And there's more than enough. It's bottomless. You're never going to run out. Just let it, just let it flow. Can you feel it? If there's anyone that you feel specifically needs healing right now, I'm going to pull Gerald Ann and Sam into it because I know that they need healing. Wendy, I know you need some healing. Beautiful. Excellent. Just name those names in your heart. Just know which ones you want to send healing to. Safety and protection to all of my crazy children who want to get out into this world and fix it. I ask for protection on them. And we thank our loved ones and these little pets. All of this love energy, our guides. We thank the archangels and source energy. And Steve, we thank you too for being here with us today, for bringing us this healing, for bringing us this clearing. We are grateful and we are thankful. And I want you now to pull, bring those, fly those little dragons right back. Pull them back into your heart space along with your Holy Spirit by yourself. You have created a beautiful little place for your Holy Spirit to, to spend time. So bring it back in. Pull it back in, that beautiful part of you. And then we're going to ask Archangel Michael to wrap each one of us in a beautiful aura of protection. Whatever color you choose today, what would you like your aura to be? He's bringing it. He says, what color would you like? What color would you like? What flavor would you like? It's like he's offering you an ice cream cone right now. Like he's treating you like a child. What would you like? And he's wrapping each one of us up in a beautiful blanket. And we're, we're just wrapped up in love, safe and protected, at peace. Your little children inside of you are feeling very, very loved and cared for right now. I feel that presence. I hope you can carry that with you today. As you go out in your day, drink a lot of water. You are integrating all this new energy all the time. It's not easy. Take good care of yourselves. Big breath. 
One last big breath. We always do that just to integrate everything, to fill you up with all of this. Let it get to every, every single cell of your body. I see you just lighting up. You're a beautiful light beam. Let it shine right out your face today. <laughs> just let it shine. Let your light shine. It's okay. Be that light to the world. Wendy, I enjoyed that I saw pink blossom again in a blue eye. I saw center face for a split second, perfect, and then it was gone. I saw lady's hands with something in her hands. Pay attention to that. What was she holding on to you? Was she giving you a gift? Pay attention to that. It's beautiful, and I'm so glad that center, that blue eye may have been your dragon. I often see the dragon's eye go poop, like up. Oh, I'm awake. It's a powerhouse for you. Scarlet, very emotional. Wrap yourself right up. You are so loved. Your aura is green. Excellent. I love a green aura. Choose green. Green is healing. So green is an excellent color to wrap yourself in and to share out to the world. We need healing so much right now. So it looked like a box she was giving you. Meditate on that, Wendy. Spend some quiet time today and just be still and see if you can visualize what is inside of that box that she gave you. It's a beautiful gift. What did she give you? It's fun to play that game with her. I think sometimes our spirit guides like to just play with us that way. They're like, okay, here, I'm going to give you this box. Can you see what's inside of it? And that's an exercise for you to work on your third eye. I'm glad it was peaceful to you. I'm glad that you've had a nice time of centering and grounding. Ah, <sighs> feels good to me. The clock right now says 1018. That's my grandmother's birthday, so... Thank you, Grandma. Thank you, loved ones. They're around you all the time. We spend time with them here, but they are with you always. Whenever you ask, your your angels are always with it with you. They want me to remind you of that. That they're like, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Get their arms crossed across their chest. Even Senna, even these little dogs, they are so close to you always. So just call on them whenever you'd like. Talk to them. Just try that for every now and then. Just say, Hey, I wanna. I'm, I'm so thankful that you're here. Do you want to talk for a while? And then you start talking and wait for their answer. And the answer may come through you in your own voice. But you'll know it because it's different. Because it's more forceful or it's it has a different tone to it. You'll feel it in your heart when they're, when they're actually answering you back. So practice with that today. It's a really fun way to learn how to communicate with your spirit guides and with your angels. Christina saw iridescent rainbow mosaic protective shield. I love that. Hold your shields up, you guys. You are so protected. They're giving you. They gave you the gift of a shield to hold on to. I wrote a lot about that. I wish Paul sent me the chakra clearing. I think I'm a, excellent because since I couldn't, I thought I had it and I had other recordings that he sent to me. When, when he and I were working on the book, we would go back and forth with recordings. And I thought I had the one you were looking for, but I didn't. I had all these other ones and I didn't even know I had, which are really cool too. So... Please enjoy your day today. Go out into that world and shine your light and be it, and enjoy this peaceful presence that we've been given. No matter what's going on outside, under the surface, there is peace. Under the surface of all of this, remember that. Remember that you have always have access to this peace, no matter what's going on around you. Have a beautiful day. I'm going to let you go. It's it's almost 10.30. You're so welcome. I'm glad that you feel better, Julie. I love you guys. I'm going to let you move on in your day and take this peace with you. Enjoy yourselves. Take good care. We'll see you tomorrow at 9.30. Yes, today's Wednesday. Tomorrow night will be at 7 o'clock. We'll be forever after that. And it's going to be different. So please join me tomorrow night at 7 Eastern Standard Time. I know it's late for you guys that are in the U.K., but Steve is really working. This is his show forever after that. Katori and I have worked together. I actually have a call with her in 30 minutes, too. Katori Thomas will be on. She's a medium. We're going to work with Steve a little bit tomorrow night on the show. So I hope that you'll join us. Namaste to you. And Monday, Monday, we get a special guest, too, with Gerald Ann. So that will be at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, Eastern Standard Time, 3.33 to be exact. So... We will see you soon. I love you guys. Take good care of yourselves, and we'll talk soon. Bye.